My name is Sharon. I'm the original Nissan whistleblower. Granted, there were a few more after me and they were a little bit more successful. Except I was kind of successful about exposing some problems, but problems that unfortunately made some people in many governments very nervous. You see, Carlos Ghosn took money for an electric car that he knew was not ready for prime time. They knew the LEAF was outdated technology from the California Air Research Board days. And I knew about this before the LEAF even had its name. I asked Mr. Tavares, some people call him Tavares. I just call him a genius. But you know what? At that time, it was not going to succeed. And they put him in the position of being president of Nissan North America just so he could take the fall. Because Mr. Sayakawa wanted to be the next CEO of Nissan. Why do I say that? Because I was told. I see I worked with the top executives at Nissan North America. I did relocation. But when I was brought in to HR, they brought me in um, in house to Nissan. They kind of forgot to have me sign a non disclose agreement. So, Note to HR leaders, if you hire a relocation consultant that's going to interact with your highest level execs like Carlos Tavares, Christian Munet, Frederic Graves, oh, Frederic, she became very close to going. She was really big with the Renault 3, oh, who I was told were innocent. Mm, yeah, I actually got tipped off by an FBI, former FBI. Oh, did I tell you that I used to date an FBI agent? Mm, yeah, I did. Mm. I told Tavares. Mm. Yeah. At the end of the day, Carlos Ghosn has been allowed to get away with a lot. You see, he and Jeffrey Epstein, they were two of the initial people that helped the Clinton Global Initiative. Now, maybe it had some good points, but let's talk about Haiti. Oh, actually, um, a Bohemian ambassador called her the shady lady. And why is Hillary not running for president? Oh, is it because she cut a deal that she won't run for office because of things that she did with classified information? Huh, maybe somebody else should cut that kind of deal. You know what? I will admit I voted for Donald J. Trump. I did. I'm, I'm a small business owner. Okay. I try my best. It's been a wacky world, and I feel like... I needed the government to give me that opportunity to succeed because I didn't want to just get free handouts because unfortunately a lot of our society is just used to free. There's no longer a work ethic. Wow, that went, yeah, that went away even before the mass thing. But, you know, we got a lot of problems in America and we got a lot of problems with our economy. There's a fairness issue. And rich people, like Carlos Goen, uh, they don't really care about poor people or middle class people. I'm just a middle class person. I would say middle class mom, but I haven't really seen my daughter. Yeah. I mean, let us let me tell you, a lot of weird stuff has happened. Do you know that on Mother's Day and my birthday, I hear from former Nissan employees. They've kept me sane. I had the courage to speak for them. Some of them actually told me things to tell Tavares, which I did. But, um, yeah, today I'm not really, I wish I was a mom. I miss my daughter. But you know what? I made a lot of mistakes. Would I have complained about corruption and discrimination and abuse of taxpayer money if it weren't important? Hell no. But the retaliation that I felt by the hands of people at Carlos Goen was so severe, I had no choice. Ask me about my three car crashes. Ask me about when I became a size zero because I was mysteriously poisoned. All this happened at the same time that Goen was trying to buy and bought Autovance from Putin, Putin's car company. Yes, Nissan bought Putin's car company with Renault. And they were taking taxpayer money. Huh. Oh, did Colin Powell's person tell them? Actually, they told me to blog about it because you know what? They thought Carlos Ghosn was a national security threat. But Marsha Marsha Blackburn, she didn't get it.
The Democrats didn't get it. Nobody got it. Oh, but people at the Pentagon did. Mm -hmm. Oh, and middle class FBI. Not middle class FBI. Well, I guess they could be middle class. Actually, they could be a little bit higher than that. But middle level. Because you know what? The problem in the FBI is in the top. It's the top level. Good FBI agents. Good FBI agents. They want to do the job. They do their jobs. Do you know how frustrating it would be to do a job and have people not take your work seriously? Seriously. Oh, that noise, that's Vivian. She's kind of cool. This is my life partner. Mm -hmm. Anyways, it's time for America to heal. And whatever it takes, we got to do it. And I want to be a mom again. So I need somebody, Mr. Tavares, to intervene. I remember when you and your wife were so supportive of her figure skating. If somebody could just get my kid to be aware that what happened, I had to do. Because once I opened up that can of worms, I couldn't put it back in the can. If you're thinking about becoming a whistleblower, even if the problem is real and you know it's true, do not think your life will be easy. It won't. It will be hell. People want to hurt you and you will feel unloved. And then when you least expect it, the people that you thought you were fighting, you find out they're secretly fighting with you. Life is crazy. It's like these people reached out to me about writing a book, but there needed to be an ending. And you know what the ending could be? That the world has a lot more good than bad. Have a great day.